Over the last decade in my practice, SLT has now become first line therapy. I think we appreciate how much compliance can be a risk factor for progression. But no matter how much we try to help maintain a good compliant patient, it's difficult. Cost, side effects, forgetfulness, comorbidities like dry eye, all make it difficult for our patients to maintain high compliance long term. And if you have a poor compliant patient, that can lead to fluctuating IOPs and potential for risk factors. We have data sets out there now that have really shown us that poor compliance can be a risk factor for progression. SLT not only takes away the compliance issues that are so difficult for us, but it actually addresses the pathology directly. Trabecular meshwork in over 50 to 70% of our patients is the primary source of resistance to outflow. So instead of putting drops in the eye that divert fluid away from the TM, let's go ahead and address the TM directly by stimulating it, allowing for fluid to flow into the outflow pathway. We don't, I think, truly appreciate how impactful it is to get someone off of one medication. Not just for the compliance sake, but for the effect of the ocular surface. Surface disease is probably the biggest comorbidity I face in medical management of glaucoma. Patients complain of it because of the symptoms, right? Tearing, burning, pain, redness, photophobia, fluctuating vision. There are very few other diseases in the eye that have as many associated symptoms as dry eye. And if you have a patient with glaucoma and has those symptoms, be less likely to want to take their glaucoma drop because of the symptoms of a dry eye. And if we can take away one of those drops, like a prostaglandin analog, not only can we help compliance from the other issues, but we can limit the amount of toxicity on the surface. The BAK and the, the chemicals of the PGA and other molecules truly can cause disruption of the goblet cells, the mebovian glands, and can cause a trabeculitis, and even cause atrophy of the canal and the distal channels. Now, what does that mean long term? After years and years of being on drops, and you have this decrease in the outflow, what can happen? The TM collapses further, the distal channels collapse further, and we potentially have even worse glaucoma disease. Number two, if we're doing a trabeculectomy or subconjunctival surgery and you have ocular surface inflammation, you have less chance that TRAV surviving long term. So to me, first line SLT gives us an opportunity to address compliance, decrease fluctuation, and also helps less toxicity for ocular surface disease, which can help us when we do cataracts and other surgeries down the line.